And he played in the NFL and later moved back to Atlanta, where he became a well-known community man, helping others. Nick Sturdivant decided to find out whatever happened to Willie Blackwell and found he's now fighting for his life and using the power of social media to try and help save him. <laughs> Over the years, Willie Blackwell has worn several hats. What year was that? 1977. 1977, that was the senior year. Mm-hmm. So when you look at that picture right there, when you, uh, what comes to mind? I come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in 1977, when I, when I got a free agent contract with the Redskins, it was probably one of the happiest days of my life. He also has stops in Buffalo and Kansas City during his NFL career. But wait, his journey doesn't stop there. These are some of the marketing tools that we use to how do we market it. While working as a manager at Dobbs International Services, now known as Gate Gourmet, an airline catering business, he helped develop a literacy program to help employees. It was probably one of the most rewarding things I've ahead in my life that I've done. He's an ordained minister, husband, father, grandfather. But last month, he got the grim diagnosis from his doctor. He said, Willie, look, we don't understand this. Your kidneys are 15% kidney function. 20 years ago, he beat kidney cancer. However, developed kidney disease and the other one. I knew at some point in time I was going to need another kidney. I just didn't know when. Now he's hoping for a match. About a month ago, his family convinced him to go to social media for help. It's, it was hard for me, to be quite honest with you. I'm so used to helping other people. It was hard for me to get on Facebook. It was hard. Since creating the Willie Blackwell Needs a Kidney Facebook page, he says he's received phone calls and messages from everywhere. When I stopped by, former Morris Brown teammates and NFL players, Ezra Johnson and Warren Bryant came by to talk about old times. He told me, I'm gonna send you back home to your mama. I said, no, you ain't send me back home to my mama. What have you learned from this whole time? <laughs> I tell you, man, I learned God is faithful, man. Use that power of social media for good. Blackwell remains in good spirits. Now, there are a lot of great resources out there when it comes to becoming a kidney donor. For more information, check out Nick's story on our website, 11alive.com.